Join the Transformer Society Club today. Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at another Combiner Wars figure and it's Skydive. Oh, this figure. This was the only figure I could not find in my local Walmarts or Toys R Us's. And thank you to my good friend Josh from the Transformers Society Club. He was very, very kind and found this at a local store out where he lives and ship this to me so thank you sir that is most gracious of you i do appreciate it so here he is yes this is the um final aerial bot in wave one that, that we get now we actually get the last aerial bot in the second wave however Looking at uh, BigBadToyStore.com, it appears they are going to make all of the original G1 Jet aerial bots uh, because you can pre-order a Superion set that has them all. So I'm very interested to see if they put that final G1 aerial bot in the third wave. So we'll definitely check that out. So here is the package. It is just like the other packages that we've seen in this wave so far. We got the really cool Transformers logo on the side. We got this nice artwork on the back of the package. Here we have Skydive inbox. There is his robot mode. He comes with a collector card. It's really all about the same. It is part of the Generations package. Um, kind of a close-up. There he is in box. Looking really, really cool. There is his jet mode. Definitely cool. He was always kind of an interesting figure for me as a kid. Uh, definitely liked it. And there's Transformers. Uh, Combiner Wars at the top. There's a picture of the artwork. Um, he kind of looks like he's got a, I don't know, a screwdriver head for some reason to me. Uh, Generations, here's the side of the package. Uh, he makes, of course, Superion. He is number two of five. Um, very cool stuff. Nothing really on that side. Nothing really down there. Here's the back of the package, kind of a wide shot. Um, again, just like the other figures, here is Superion here with Astanticon. There are the, all the uh, figures in Wave 1 uh, in yellow, because I guess that's the Aerobot color. Uh, um, the Stunticons are in purple, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got him in robot mode. There's his jet mode. There's his uh, name up there. Again, we do not have a bio on this guy, which is kind of unfortunate. It does say he is the master combat tactician of the group, which is pretty cool. And he transforms in 11 steps. So let's go ahead and get Skydive out of package and see what we think. All right, so here we have Skydive out of package. And I do gotta say, I really like the look. Uh, it just really impresses me. He's very bulky for an aerial bot. Of course, once again, we get this kind of updated G1 style. I mean, an aerial bot is pretty much a robot with a little tiny jet packed on his back. That's okay. I don't mind that. It looks good. They did a nice job kind of giving this G1 homage to the figure. Um, really, really digging the paint sculpt on the guy. I like the red. It's very vibrant. The black looks good against the uh, gray. There are a lot of flat black versus glossy black to give uh, kind of some nice contrast. Now, the one thing I will say, and I'll kind of show it off when we get a little closer, his Autobot logo's over on his chest, and it's really almost invisible. I would have preferred, I think, to have seen the Autobot logo on the middle of his chest just kind of sticking out. However, I'm pretty sure that chest piece is going to be the component to make the arm or the leg. So that's just not going to work. Now, he does come with some accessories. Uh, here is his gun. It's kind of this double-barreled uh, gun thing. Now, unfortunately, it's a little hollow underneath. Uh, but, I mean, from the top, it looks pretty decent. And I'm sure it combines to make a bigger weapon. He also comes with the foot slash hand piece. Now, the interesting thing about this is... Um, it looks a lot like 
I don't know, like it could be Ultra Magnus uh, style rockets on the toes uh, slash fingers. So once again, just like the others, uh, you just kind of pull out the hand and there is the thumb and now we have a hand. I love that gimmick. I think that it's fantastic for a combiner and I'm just really impressed that have Hasbro did that. Um, kind of a close up of this guy. So there he is. Looks really nice. The detail on him is amazing. I love the kind of bronze copper face look the paint on the eyes looks amazing again i like the two-tone eye paint it looks like they painted some black underneath and then put the uh, hyper blue over it which is really really nice um so yeah there's the autobot logo so it kind of gets missed a little bit and it's got silver paint on it which is really really nice it's not like just red with white but it's red and silver and that's very impressive the head just looks funny on this guy to me. I don't know. I think screwdriver for some reason. Uh, like, I want to put a, a flat head there and screwing down. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Uh, the red looks really nice on the chest. It almost has a die cast look to it, which is very impressive because, of course, those figures were die cast. Um, the molding details, outstanding. Look at that. On the arms, the chest, uh, even on the legs, the paneling on the legs looks really good. Um, and the feet just looks nice and blocky. Of course, like I said, we have a little jet kind of hanging on his back, but again, it's an aerial bot. That's what they look like. You can't really go wrong there. I mean, it is what it is. For a size comparison, here we have Skydive next to the Masterpiece MP10 Optimus Prime Platinum Edition. Here we have Skydive next to Transformers Prime Ratchet. Here we have Skydive next to Fans Project Quadruple U. Here we've got Skydive next to Transformers Cybertron Backstop. Here he is next to Beast Machines Transformers Megatron. Here he is next to Wavemate Dragstrip. And finally, here he is next to KFC's Transistor. And here we have Skydive in his jet mode. And it's a decent jet. However, I think that his Wavemate Firefly looks a lot superior. This guy has never been my favorite of the aerial bots, uh, but he's definitely interesting. I like the color scheme. I like the gray. I like the black. I like the red and the gold. He just, there's something off about it, and I think it's the positioning of the wings. I think they're just a little too far up. If they were able to slide back a little, um, I think it would be a lot better. But it is what it is. Now, uh, he does have a lot of robot kibble hanging underneath, um, as every aerial bot has, but overall the jet on the top looks pretty decent. Now, if you notice, I have the black side pieces pointing up because as you look at it, I think it kind of looks a little bit better. Uh, you're actually supposed to, if I can do this on camera here, it's supposed to be like that, uh, which you just see a lot of kibble there. And looking at the two, I think it looks better from the top with the black hanging out there. My opinion, you transform your figure the way that you want to. Uh, but overall, yeah, I mean, it's pretty decent. I really, really like the detail. The gold wings are nice. I like all of the molding pieces. I like the Autobot logos there. The cockpit is nice and this is kind of a, a smoky uh, charcoal with a little bit of sparkle in it. It's not the same black as the nose and I appreciate that. Um, all the detail on the jet itself looks really really nice. We get this nice striping on the back which is very cool. The nice molding. We get the jets back here. Very nicely done. Um, the tail pieces back here just look a little bland be nice if there was a little something extra um, and then we've got the pieces here at the end of the wings and then underneath we have these nice really um, molded missiles golden missiles on both of the wings I really really do like that here we have skydive with his wave mate firefly which is my favorite so far of the aerial bots. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Of course, this was the aerial bot I had as a kid, so I might be a little bit biased, but I think he just looks better. 
and here is Skydive with his other wave mate, Alpha Bravo. Um, again, you know, this is a figure I didn't think I was going to like at all, uh, but I'm really, really digging the figure and I'm liking the variants. The helicopter is starting to grow on me as an aerial bot, although I still want all five original G1 aerial bots. So in conclusion, do you want Firefly in your collection? Well, of course, if you are collecting the Combiner Wars, you want Combiners. And if you're an Aerial Bots fan, you have to have Superion, and this guy is a must-have. Uh, for a standalone figure, he is okay. Uh, I would not pick him up just to have him. Uh, like I would Firefly. I'd have Firefly in a minute. I just think the sculpt is a little bit better. Uh, it just He's just a better design. He was in G1. He is now. But that does not take away from the fact that this is a really cool figure. So definitely worth a pickup. So there he is. Skydive. Again, thank you, Josh, from the Transformer Society Club. I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, very generous of you. You did not have to do that. Definitely check out the Transformer Society Club. It's a great place for all Transformers fans to talk, chat, and uh, share pictures and videos of Transformers. I'll put a link down below. They also have a kids corner where we take a look at uh, you know, kids transformers. Uh, so definitely cool stuff. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Definitely subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Share my videos, add a comment down below. And as always, look for more videos in the future.